Good morning. And uh, the goal of the event here is to cover the joint venture program, which is a very specific program to, um, to invest with me, if you will, and uh, reduce any level of risk for you. And I'm going to talk about it. Um, it really is based on commercial real estate, a very specific type of real estate, which is not just retail properties, but the single tenant retail properties. These type of properties are the standalone properties. Um, not many people focus on these. Uh, a lot of people focus on single family homes. Now, if I compare a single family home and having a renter there versus a standalone single tenant retail property, the opportunities are, are abound with each, but nobody focuses here. It's a blue ocean opportunity, if you will. Uh, you know, this is a bloody water. Everybody's there trying to compete, trying to get the deal. Yes, below market, etc. This one, I can get it at market and find a tenant that will pay rent and the property becomes higher value. So you can pay the full price they want, but you add value to it. This one is only focused on price. I want something where here is the market. All these homes are selling for, let's say, 500,000. But I found that home, the guy's desperate, so it's at 400. It's pretty easy. Here you make your money buying. Here you make your money. He's a street. He's a property. There is traffic in two directions. You want to get that property, put a tenant in it, and it, it increases the value. Here you find it below price. Here you add value. So this is the first difference you got to understand is when you're going to pay full price, it's a huge advantage because other people want to negotiate down. You don't. You're going to put it under contract, try to find a large national tenant that's going to come in. And if they come in and pay you the money that we're asking, the value has increased. If not, you walk away with no risk. This one, to buy it below market, there is still a risk because we don't know where the trend is. The trend may be that it's coming down very fast. The trend is maybe that there will be more foreclosures coming in the market. There will be more listings. There will be more challenges. Maybe the property has in, in, problems in terms of the condition, etc., that we didn't realize right away. Also, when I get a tenant here, if I want it for rentals, most likely the tenant want to rent. It's a single family, so they want to rent six months to one year. But here, when I get a national tenant, they want to rent from five years to 10 years, if not even 20 years, 15 or 20. It's not unusual for the large companies to come in and say, I'd like 15 years. This one I have to fix to rent. This one, they will take it as is. They may ask for a couple of months free rent for what they do is called tenant improvement. This one here, the single family home, you know, you may, you may uh, get the financing easier and longer term, like in 30 years, this is good. But this one here, you can put it under contract. And then once you get the national tenant interested, you can get very favorable financing. And the tenant literally pays for everything. Here, here you can get partners. And here you can not only get partners, you can lease and sublease, you can assign, you can create a syndication. It's a lot easier to grow with these. Here I can put my down payment and, and get a tenant and a few months later go back to the same bank and say, look, the value increase, I got a tenant, there is a corporate guarantee that means guaranteed by the corporation. I'd like to refinance cash out my money. They'll either refinance for me or give me a credit line. This one here, there's no corporate guarantee. So the bank says, well, you got a tenant. Well, you know, hip to do that, we're happy, but we're expecting you to get a tenant because you said it's an investment property. You see, so it's there are huge advantages to getting into this because you will do the work once and enjoy the income for 10 years. Here, there is a constant ongoing management, um, maintenance and issues that I don't have here because here I can do a triple net where the tenant pays me the rent and additional on top of the rent, 
they, they are paying the rent net of taxes, insurance, and maintenance. They pay the property taxes, they pay the property insurance, property maintenance, here I still have to pay it. When I do due diligence on the single tenant properties, if it's already occupied with a tenant, the rent they bring is the net. So easy to do a due diligence. If I'm doing a due diligence on a single family home that's already rented, there's a lot of other expenses I gotta look at. How much do you pay for trash? What's the utilities? What's happening with this? Let's look at deferred maintenance. A lot of stuff to inspect here. Due diligence is humongous. This due diligence is simply, if it's occupied, let me see what the lease is and the terms. And if it's vacant, let me see how much I can rent it for and who would be interested as a tenant. So you with me on an overview why in terms of the single one property approach, this one is a lot better than this one.